Go to walkoutwear.com for all of your WWE action figures. Use code UNSTABLE to save 16% and free shipping. Hello, thank you to Zach Hill House, aka Finger Monkey 79 on Instagram for using my discount code over on walkoutwear.com. Got himself some elites. Thank you so much for continuing to use my code. Brother, I really do appreciate it. All the pre-orders that are up right now on walkoutwear.com are up on the screen. So feel free to order yourself all these awesome figures. And remember, guys, use discount code unstable at checkout. You will save yourself 16% off and free shipping. Remember walkout always has the best prices for pre-orders thank you so much if you do let me know if you do and i'll give you a shout out in an upcoming video ladies and gentlemen hope you guys enjoy my SummerSlam 2018 prediction video thank you hello you beautiful beautiful people welcome back to another video i hope you all are having a fantastic day if you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button i would really appreciate it please hit that thumbs up button but today guys we are going to be doing SummerSlam 2018 prediction video i hope you guys are ready because i am kind of ready kind of not because there is a hell of a lot of matches on this pay-per-view card so we're just gonna get right into it because I feel like this is gonna be a very long video uh, we're gonna start off with the kickoff matches of course and then whatever this website has them in as their order I guess you can say so let's just get right into it first uh, first off the kickoff match Rusev and Lana versus Andrade Cien and Zelina Vega now, who do I have for this? First off, I got to say, what Rusev did on Twitter was very funny. He, uh, the other day when the ma this match was announced, he said, he, what did he say? He, he felt honored to share the card, uh, the pre-show match, the pre-show card with the Cruiserweight Champion. So I thought that was hilarious because he was just in the main event for the World Champion on the last pay-per-view, right? And now he's on the pre-show. So poor Rusev, I feel bad for him. But um, I... I really don't, it's a pre-show match, so I'm talking too much about it. I really don't care who wins this match because I do like everyone in this match. Uh, love Lana, love Rusev, love Cien, and love uh, Zelina. Zelina, however the hell you say it, but she is fine. Let's just say that. And Lana, too. Uh, but you can't forget Handsome Rusev. Haven't heard Handsome Rusev in a while, ladies and gentlemen. But for this match, I'm kind of... Uh, I don't know, because Rus Rusev and Lana, they have been losing because of, of course, uh, Aiden English. So do you think Aiden English is going to come out again and ruin the match again? That's always a possibility. So I'm just going to go with Cien Amos and Zelina Vega. Uh, next match, kickoff match, the B team versus the Revival for the Tag Team Champions. It's the pre-show, so are we really going to see uh, a championship change hands? We have seen it before, but it's very unlikely, so... I'm just going to say B-Team wins some way because what have they really been doing with the Revival? Nothing. So I'm saying the B-Team retains. And then, of course, the Cruiserweight Championship match, Cedric Alexander versus Drew Gulak. Nothing too crazy is going to happen. It's the pre-show. I'm not going to expect too much. I'm going to say Cedric Alexander retains the title. Then next match they have on this list is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Jeff Hardy for the United States Champion. Uh, hopefully it's not like their last match where Shinsuke Nakamura hits him in the marbles and it's over. Uh, really don't want to see that, but of course Jeff Hardy is injured uh, according to the rumors. So, uh, of course I do not see Jeff Hardy winning the match. I see Shinsuke Nakamura retaining probably by DQ. Probably Randy Orton is going to come out, interfere like he has been doing. Attack Jeff Hardy so he could go have his surgery so we won't see him for a while. And then we'll just have Shinsuke Nakamura versus Randy Orton for the United States Champion feud go on for a little bit. So for this match, I'm going to say Shinsuke Nakamura retains the title. Next match, we got a triple threat match for the women champion, SmackDown Women's Champion, Carmella, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte Flair. Ugh. Now, Carmella, I, I, I do enjoy Carmella, but... For some reason, I don't know what's going on. She just, she just has been annoying me. I don't know, man. Uh, I know mo mostly everyone hates her, but I actually do enjoy her. But she's just been getting on my nerves, you can say. Now, honestly, I, it was supposed to be uh, Becky Lynch versus Carmella, which I was happy with. When they added Charlotte, I wasn't too happy about it because 
Charlotte's a good wrestler. I'm just not the biggest Charlotte fan. So for this match, I really wanted Becky Lynch to win. Uh... I was just thinking about this before the video. Maybe Becky Lynch is about to win. Everyone gets so excited. Uh, Carmella's down. Becky Lynch about to pin Charlotte. And then Carmella somehow gets up, throws Becky Lynch out of the ring, pins, uh, pins Charlotte or the other way around, whoever she pins. If Carmella does something like that and she retains, that would get many people upset. But that's just a possibility. Very low chance. I doubt seeing that happen. But, uh... For this match, I'm going to say Becky Lynch because that's who I want to see win the title. Next match, we got personally uh, my favorite match on the card next to something else very close. It is Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. Very, very long overdue match should have happened a while ago. We all been waiting for it. We all knew it was going to happen. We just didn't know when. It is officially happening. Daniel Bryan, everyone knows, amazing. And The Miz, I love The Miz. I I love The Miz, man, but uh, I really do want The Miz to win. I know pretty much everyone is saying they want Daniel Bryan, but I want I really want The Miz to win, but do I see it happening? No, because does Miz really ever win at pay-per-views? It hasn't happened, I feel like, in a while, so of course everyone's going to go for Daniel Bryan because everyone does love Daniel Bryan. But I actually like The Miz a little bit more, so that's why I'm... I want The Miz to win, but I just spit. I want The Miz to win, but uh, I have a feeling Daniel Bryan is going to win the match. Uh, next match, Dolph Ziggler with Drew McIntyre by his side. Against Seth Rollins with the returning Dean Ambrose at his side. Now, of course, we all heard the rumors Dean Ambrose is supposed to turn heel on Seth Rollins. It, I, ever since he came back the other night uh, on Raw... It's been everywhere. He's turning heel. Now, are they going to do it? Is WWE going to do it? Because that's literally all the rumor I heard is Dean Ambrose turning heel. You know when everyone's saying, when everyone says it, it doesn't really, it doesn't always happen the way when everyone says it. So, is it a possibility? Yes, I do believe it is a possibility. He got this new look. He got his hair cut. He's much, much bigger than he was. Got bigger muscles. So, I, I would like to see uh, Heel Dean Ambrose uh, run. I, I'd like to see it a lot because I think it would be entertaining. And either way, if Dean Ambrose wasn't coming back anyway, if he didn't come back, I was still going to say Dolph Ziggler because, of course, Drew McIntyre is by his side. So I'm going to stick with everyone and say Dean Ambrose turns heel on Seth. Dolph Ziggler retains the title. Next match, we got Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens. If uh, Braun loses, Kevin Owens gets the Money in the Bank briefcase, and I'm pretty sure no one wants that to happen. We all want Braun Strowman to cash in that Money in the Bank and be that Universal Champion, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for this match, I don't see Kevin Owens winning at all. I see my man Braun Strowman going ham. I, I'm sure it will be a decent match, but I do not see them letting Kevin Owens beat him and become the Money in the Bank. I think that would be pretty stupid and I'd be very upset and then for this, this before I forget I heard Elias Sampson is going to be singing a song uh, during uh, the pay-per-view sometime so I'm pretty sure Bobby Lashley's going to come out and ruin it he's either Bobby Lashley's just either going to attack him or it's going to turn into a quick match because of how long this pay-per-view actually is and there's another rumored match supposed supposed to be on the pre-show might happen might not Riot Squad versus Sasha and Bailey. So just wanted to throw that out there if you do not know. Next match, the Bludgeon Brothers versus the New Day for the Tag Team Champions. Uh, I really, I like the New Day, but I really don't want to see them be Tag Team Champions again. It's just, no, I, I don't want to see it happen. I've been enjoying the Bludgeon Brothers, even though it hasn't, their run with the titles hasn't been that exciting, really. You know, it doesn't get me excited. I'm like, oh, the Bludgeon Brothers, okay. But I, I do see the Bludgeon Brothers retaining uh, because I just don't want to see New Day with the, with the Tag Team Champions now. Probably, maybe in the future, but no time soon. Um, that's just how I feel right now. Next match, we got Finn Balor versus Baron Corbin. Will we see the Demon Finn Balor? No, we will not. We have, how, when was the last time we saw the Demon King? Oh my god, I miss it, man. I miss it, but, uh, this has been going on a little while there, a little feud. Uh, I love Baron Corbin. Um, no, no one really likes Baron Corbin, but I, I loved him ever since NXT. I really wanted him to get that big push when he was money in the bank, but of course that failed. Why are we even talking about that time? We're talking about now. Uh, 
I'm just gonna go with Finn Balor. Nothing, not really a reason because uh, Finn Balor. Why not? Uh, next match we got Alexa Bliss versus Ronda Rousey for the women's champion. Who do I see winning? Ronda Rousey, of course. Uh, I'm pretty sure I said that in the last pay-per-view she was gonna win, and then that DQ thing happened. But whatever. Do I see? The only way she wouldn't win is if Alicia Fox comes in the ring and uh, attacks Ronda Rousey. But do you see that happening? No, because I love Alicia Fox. I wish they would do more with her. I'm like the only person who does. But uh, I do not see Alicia Fox getting that opportunity to attack her. Ronda Rousey would, of course, attack her first. And looks like they're really high uh, on Ronda Rousey at the moment. So that's why I'm saying it. And it, when she does win, even though I do love you, Alexa Bliss, I know you're not watching, but I do things to you. Let's just say that. Uh, I do see Ronda Rousey winning the title, and I do expect a very long run with that title. Next match, we got AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe for the championship. Now, last I heard, of course, this uh, feud was going to go on. Uh, because the, the rumor still is that AJ Styles is going to continue with the title. Uh, because I'm fine with that AJ Styles man he's incredible he's amazing uh, I have a feeling this is the other match I was thinking was going to be the match of the night because Samoa Joe is awesome AJ Styles is awesome they had matches a lot before in TNA they have they have what's the word what's the word they have chemistry together it's going to be epic it's going to be amazing very pumped for this match I'm excited, but I do think AJ Styles is going to retain, but I don't think it is going to be the end of the feud. I think it's going to go out, and maybe Samoa Joe might win at an upcoming pay-per-view. If he wins at this pay-per-view, I'll be happy too, but I'm I'm sticking with AJ Styles. Now the main event, of course, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Uh, lots of rumors going on right now. Should have been Bobby Lashley and uh, Brock Lesnar. That's what I wanted to see, but you can't get what you always want, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let me X this out since we're done. Uh, lots of things could happen in this match. People are saying Brock Lesnar is going to retain. Uh, everyone's going to be upset. Braun Strowman's going to come out, cash in. Personally, personally, I'd like to see that. Uh, other people are saying Roman Reigns is going to win. Uh, either way, I'm happy with because... Get Brock Lesnar out of there, man. I'll be happy if Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns wins, even though I'm not a fan. Just so we could see the title every week. I think everyone feels that way by now. They felt that way for a long time because it is it is just ridiculous. Brock Lesnar should have never won that championship back again. How long has it been? Almost two years. It's getting ridiculous. But obviously, uh, I'm gonna say Braun. I'm gonna say Braun Strowman comes out, wins the title. To who cash is in the briefcase to whoever wins. Uh, that's what I'm sticking with. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm I'm gonna say Brock Lesnar retains. Everyone's upset. Braun Strowman comes out and cashes in. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Done. So that was my predictions. Of course, let me know your predictions down in the comments below. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you were new, subscribe for more. Please hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys in the next video.